Hey guys, welcome back. And in today's episode, we're going to talk about something that um, I'm going to ask you ladies and gentlemen out there to dirty up your mind a little bit for me. Uh, I'll get into why. Coming up right after this. And before we get into it, make sure you like the channel's Facebook page. I have a Snapchat. Make sure you follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter. Pick your poison. I've got all that. Links are in the video description. All right, so let's jump into today's video topic. I got some inspiration for this from a post that was put on in one of the Facebook groups. And it was uh, your more adult content type of, of watches. Uh, it watches that have the kind of complications that lead to baby watches, <laughs> let's just say. So it kind of got me thinking, and I don't think I've heard this topic brought up at all, ever, or I guess really ever seen something that alludes to it, uh, which I guess is, is kind of surprising because so many of you guys out there have very... Um, vivid imaginations. I don't want to say dirty minds, but, um, you know, you just kind of let it, let it ride. Right. So it's a little bit of a lighthearted video. So I, I, I need you guys to just let your minds get dirty with me for a little bit. Uh, and don't, don't judge me. Okay. But I, it, it's got me wondering whether a lot of watches or watches in general are inherently phallic. And you, you heard me correctly, whether or not watches are inherently phallic. And what I mean by that is, is when we start to talk about the minute and hour hand on, on watches specifically, obviously, um, you know, I, I will concede that there is only so many ways that you can design an hour hand and a minute hand, right? And I think it's pretty fair to say that a majority of the industry is, is male. I have to just wonder though, if, if some of these hour and minute hands and then in some instances, the corresponding 12 hour or, or 12 o'clock hour marker is kind of just them having a good time. And what I mean by that is you have your kind of uh, baton style hands, right? Which no harm, no foul, right? They're two sticks that are, <laughs> that are telling the time. And then you have your sword shaped hands, uh, your Mercedes hands and or Rolex style hands, you know, and those are just seemingly innocently pointing to the hour and the minutes. But then some of these hand designs start to get a little bit creative. I'm trying to think of, I got to be really careful with my words here, but they start to get a little more male anatomy, right? And here's, here's uh, one of the first examples I want to talk about is the Seiko Kinetic Diver, right? Just check out the hour hand and the minute hand. Okay, listen, I, I might completely be willing to buy that. Maybe I'm just dirty minded. Okay, maybe I've been completely jaded by my years as a sailor and I can't see things in my once virtuous, innocent state. Yeah, maybe. But you're going to tell me that when the guys at Seiko were sketching the hands for this, nobody had a chuckle about it. Nobody thought, hey, this looks a little bit like a pee pee. No, nobody. Yeah, so I just, you know, you, you look at some of them, and I just want to say this to you guys out there that either have this watch or have reviewed this watch or seen reviews on this watch and thought to yourself, I like I like the design. It's, you know, there's something inherently masculine about it. Yeah, yeah, no, you're right. There, There is. I don't think it's that hard to figure out what feels inherently masculine about it. <laughs> Maybe it feels like a good uh, fertility watch. I don't know. Whatever. I'm not judging. But then you've got some that I feel like go a, a, a little bit further, right? And you've got the same kind of like our hand, you know, design. And, and typically the culprit here when it comes to hand designs on watches that start to look a little male anatomical it tends to be it tends to be more the the minute hand than the hour hand and listen i'm not going to get into any reasons why male designers pick the longer one of the hands to design this way versus the smaller one but you've got you've got ones where i you know 
it just kind of looks that way to me. Um, but then with some of these, take a look at the hour marker at the 12 o'clock position. I, I don't know why they picked this kind of hour marker, but when the hands get to the 12 o'clock, I'm just going to say maybe it's, 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 you know, it's helping fertilize more time. I, <laughs> I don't, I don't know. Right. But, and like I said, Hey, there's only so many ways that you can design an hour hand and a minute hand. All I'm saying is that when it comes to some of these watches, and some of these watches I really do like the look of, but at, even when I try to put my mature adult hat on, I can't get past what it looks like, what the hour and the minute hand look like. And, you know, I don't want to be staring at it all day, personally. I don't think it's any secret that it's not really my thing, but... I, I just, I get a chuckle out of it. I get a chuckle out of it when I, when I look at them and there's some that look inherently more male anatomy related than other hand designs. Some of these just had, had to have been for a good time. It had to have been funny. And, and I honestly, I refuse to believe that a lot of you perfect gentlemen out there who have 100% clean minds, when you're looking at some of these watch hands, the thought never occurred to you that it looks like a penis. Never? Not one time? I don't. Maybe I'm the only one. Maybe I'm the only one. Is there something about them that's inherently phallic? I mean, you can't get around the fact that you need two sticks to point out the hour and the minute. I just think that some designers decide to have a good time about it, and, and I've never really heard it mentioned. So if you've got this watch, great looking watch. But if you look down at it and you think, man, this is just, this watch has a masculine feel to it and you haven't been able to figure out why. This is why. This is why. Uh, so yeah, let me know what you guys think about it. That's it for this episode. I know it's kind of ridiculous, but it's just a, a couple thoughts that I had in my head that I wanted to share with you guys. So if you guys enjoyed this episode or found it useful, I'm not entirely sure how you would have found it useful, but if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If this is your first time here, don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. That's it for this one. CG out.